What's poppin' y'all? Coming to y'all with another reaction video. I told y'all I was gonna be back on it. Told y'all I'm doing a whole lot of stuff, man. I just had to get, I have to focus on one thing at a time because if you get overwhelmed, you'll be like, oh, I don't wanna do this no more. So, like I said, I'm gonna have my hand in everything, every bag, <laughs> pun intended, every bag, boom, 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 all in one channel. Throw it in this big ass bag right here. <laughs> But shout out to everybody, man. Shout out to all the people that support the channel. All y'all. All y'all dope. Appreciate it. Y'all keep doing that work. I'm going to keep bringing this work. Get into this reaction video, man. This is like the first time I think in a while that I got something that just happened. <laughs> I think so. It says breaking news. About to watch it. Let's get it. With breaking news from Prince George's County, police say a man is dead and multiple people are hurt after a shooting at a 7-Eleven in Capitol Heights. Thanks for staying up late with us tonight. I'm Charlotte McBride. Our Rafael Sanchez Cruz is live at the scene of that shooting. And Rafael, what are you learning about what happened there tonight? Charlotte, Prince George's County police are saying that multiple people were shot here tonight and one of those victims, an adult male, was pronounced dead at a local hospital. It's still a very active scene here and according to police, pretty early on in their investigation, they are saying that they believe the shooting started inside the convenience store. But as you can see, there are dozens of evidence markers in the parking lot. Police say they received the call about a shooting at the 7-Eleven on the 1400 block of Ritchie Road. You know what? 7-Elevens are everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah, no, I'm not lying. Given that fact, I didn't seem like, I would, look, I'll be driving, and I know sometimes 7-Eleven be having those low-key deals. I'll be having a little app and be doing my little points, but 7-Eleven be having those low-key deals. I drive to like, all right, I want something to drink from 7-Eleven or whatever. And then uh, I would see three or four dudes hanging outside. I drive, keep going to another 7-Eleven, see it, same amount hanging outside. Point that I'm trying to make is, you there's always going to be another 7-Eleven. I mean, you can't tell. What's about to happen? Nobody can really tell the future, but sometimes your body and your mind is like, nah, this does not feel right. Just like how, just like how some people be like, um, I don't look at gas prices. I just go get gas. You're stupid. That's why, that's why you're saying dumb, dumb stuff like that. I almost perished for no damn reason. Dumb stuff like that. You're stupid. I look at gas prices. I know the type of gas I want, and I know if I go over here, it's about 20 cents cheaper. So why wouldn't I go over here? Why would I spend 20 cents more when I can go over here and say 20 cents cheaper? You're stupid. Why are you wasting money? You're not a baller. Don't look at gas prices. I don't care if I have a hundred billion dollars or whatever the case may be. I'm gonna watch every dollar. Like, y'all. And it'd be mostly my people saying that's dumb stuff. Like, come on, my dude. Yeah, get get better. You would see a you would see a millionaire. That's why I said you would see a millionaire wear the cheapest clothes. You know, I'm not even going to talk about that because this has nothing to do with the video. Just stop stopping at Weird 7 Eleven. That's it. In Capitol Heights around 8 p.m., officers located several people with gunshot wounds. They were all transported by ambulance to receive medical attention. Now, investigators are still interviewing people on the premises. They're saying that it's too early to determine what led to the shooting. We're still waiting on details about the suspect or suspects in this case. PG police saying no one is in custody tonight and they have to determine, they have yet to determine if it's multiple shooters or one shooter on the scene. This case is just one of several recent shootings at convenience stores in Prince George's County. Corporal Unique Johnson had the following message. See what I just said earlier when I went on my little rant? It's always more than one 7-Eleven. It is. It's just how it is. But this doesn't look like it was random. It doesn't look like it was random at all. Like, rolling by, seeing some victims. Don't care where nothing. I'm not like I said. I'm, I'm just I'm just speaking. I'm not. I don't know the facts. We'll not send some dudes hanging. That up. That's what it seems like to me. You may interpret it different. I'm just saying. For Prince Georgians. The citizens, I would say that our officer 
our officers are out here working hard um, to continue to make Prince George's a livable community and always to keep it safe. So that's our number one goal is to keep the county safe. Got her looking like she's looking for something. You don't know what you're looking at. What is she like, four foot two? <laughs> PG Police is saying tonight that there is no greater threat to the community. Now, the businesses just behind the 7 Eleven are still opened and operating. I'm live in Capitol Heights. I'm Rafael Sanchez Cruz. All right, let's end that. Let me see if that comes up. I don't need him to pronounce his name. Ain't like we're going to go look him up. <laughs> But man, yeah, but look, I was saying, man, it's bringing back to my real point. Like, y'all need to stop hanging out, especially summertime, man. Y'all know summertime is hot. Everybody knows that. Not just the heat wave going on and all that stuff. Like, for real, summertime has always been hot. Ever since I've been born and was put aware of it, summertime was hot. Like, come on, man. You can't hang out. All that hanging out stuff, can't do that anymore, man. If you're going to hang out, go home. Sit in the house. And make sure you're not followed. Sad world we live in, man. If you like content like this, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment. Holla.